You may or may not be on a low-carb diet, but you do use butter occasionally in your cooking, and you're wondering, that ghee in that supermarket which you see sometimes, you're wondering, is this something of an alternative? Is it better than butter, or should I replace that compared to polyunsaturated oil such as corn oil or canola oil? I'm here to share with you what I found out and why I think shifting to ghee or butter should be a better choice for you. Okay, before we dive deeper and understand what is ghee made up of, you need to know what is butter made up of. Butter comes from cow's milk, okay? And it can come from other mammals such as sheep or goat, but primarily it comes from cow's milk. And butter is made up of milk solids, butter fat, and of course, water. So how do you get ghee from that? You take ghee, you heat it up, and then you start to evaporate the water from the butter and then you start to separate the milk solids away from the butter fat and essentially that butter fat is what we call as clarified butter and you take clarified butter you simmer it a bit longer and then that produces ghee and there you have it that's where ghee comes from so then what are the benefits of ghee the first benefit that i can think of is that it has a high smoking point of 250 degrees celsius to be exact if you compare it to uh, butter it butter has a smoking point of between 150 to 170 degrees celsius and that's because there are milk solids inside butter which smokes out first and then later the butter fat in the butter smokes out at about 200 degrees celsius or thereabouts then why is smoking point important Smoking point refers to the point where molecules start to break down after subtracting it to high heat. And that can be a bad thing because it then releases unwanted or bad chemicals into your food or into the environment and that's something that you don't want. But that is just one side of the story. You don't just look at smoking point. You look at the structure or the chemical structure of that particular fat or oil. So if you put it into perspective, butter is basically made up of uh, saturated fat as the same for ghee because it comes from butter and why is saturated fat then okay because saturated fat must remember that it's a very stable type of fat or oil because there is no carbon bonds in there no double bonds within there and it's saturated with hydrogen therefore it's chemically much more stable and you can actually find that it's it's harder, it's more stable at room temperature or it's harder or solid at room temperature when compared to polyunsaturated oils or even uh, monounsaturated oils. Diving into that further, you have actually three different classes of uh, fats. You have a uh, saturated fat, you have a uh, monounsaturated fat and you have polyunsaturated fat. So monounsaturated fat basically has just one double bond which compared to polyunsaturated fats, they have many double bonds within them. So then why is this important? It is important because it refers that when the oils are subjected to high heat, more bad stuff can be released because there are more carbon bonds within a polyunsaturated oil, right? So for saturated fat, there's no double bonds within those. So it's a stronger and less likely to turn rancid or release bad chemicals into your food. So a saturated oil would definitely be more preferred or saturated fat type of oil will be more preferred so don't look at smoking point to judge whether oil is good or not you must know what is the chemical structure within that oil which is more important than that and since ghee does not have any milk solids in them so if you are lactose intolerant you are very sensitive to lactose where butter might have some milk solids in there which may be sensitive to you but ghee doesn't have it so that is one of the benefits that switching to ghee may help you with your stomach or discomforts due to lactose intolerance obviously also there's more fat in ghee compared to butter because now you are essentially really condensing the butter into its only the butter fat form so for it's got more bang for buck if you put it in that way Within the same amount of ghee versus butter, you have more calories in ghee. And due to the fact that you don't have any milk solids in ghee, this can be kept at room temperature. I mean, ghee can be kept at room temperature without turning rancid as fast as what butter can happen because of the milk solids. In the link below, I put up a table which is from Wikipedia that you can see the various amounts of fat or the fat breakdown between them. And of course, the smoking point and that is for your reference. One thing on most people's minds may be 
Is saturated fat okay for me in terms of cardiovascular diseases? I've heard that uh, saturated fat is bad for me. And that's because when you start mixing it with sugar or carbs, that's where fats can turn bad. But if you are on a low carb diet, you do not have the trigger to turn fats bad. Saturated fats are actually pretty good for you. And there are studies, uh, reviews and meta analysis of various uh, studies that have been done and I've attached a link you can see for yourself and decide and maybe research even further whether you feel that saturated fat is fine. After all my research that I've done, I find that saturated fat is safe. Okay, and you can take that in normal amounts. Of course, you don't have to worry that you need to have less of that and more of carbs, which is actually a worse evil. And that is a topic for another day entirely. So in a nutshell, the study showed that there's no significant causes of mortality or cardiovascular disease due to the intake of saturated fat. So again, research all you want and just, well, find out more for yourself rather than just assuming that things can be bad for you just because you hear say from other people, even from me. So other than using ghee or butter, what else can you use in your cooking? So obviously ghee and butter will be a form of saturated fat and ghee has a higher smoking point, butter has a lower smoking point, but essentially they are still okay to use for your cooking. But avoid things like polyunsaturated oils like canola oil or corn oil where they are basically even having higher smoking point. The chemical structure is not good when you be subject to high heat and release really more free radicals which may harm your good cells along the way. So you may consider using avocado oil which has a higher smoking point, is a monounsaturated fat even though it has a, just a single carbon uh, double bond but it's less likely to turn bad compared to uh, polyunsaturated oils. You can also consider coconut oil which is a saturated fat type of oil but it has a, a higher smoking point compared to butter, but still something that you can use it safely for your cooking. But again, as I said, avoid polyunsaturated oils as much as you can. I know it's difficult, uh, especially when you go outside to eat and you can't choose what kind of oils they use. In fact, the only chance that you can really control it is when you cook at home. Then you can try use ghee or coconut oil or avocado in your cooking. But that said, right, those oils may have a flavor that could change the flavor of your food and it may not be to everybody's liking. So you have to explore that on, on your own and see which works best for you. So at the end of the day, I think ghee is a very good alternative to butter because of its uh, high smoking point and the fact that you have no milk in there. But the flavor may be something that you need to try out and see whether it works for you. And I've not personally used much ghee so I'm going to be experimenting with it along the way to see if it suits me as well. So you should try that. But definitely avoid polyunsaturated oils at home as much as possible, as I mentioned. And yep, I hope you do like this video and it helps you along the way. And of course, if you want, you can visit my website, lowcarbdoneat.com or you can go to my Instagram channel and continue to share my information with your friends if you find that this may be useful to them. And I hope you like, you subscribe and you hit that notification button so that I can produce more videos like this to help everyone out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.